Yeah. Hi, I'm Dave Watt, the owner of both of these locomotives. Uh, and today I'm going to do uh, take the te smoke box temperature of 871, just out of interest to see how efficient the boiler is with the flue gases in the smoke box. Now if you, if you see on the, the engine, a, a smoke box door has been removed and this plate put in its place with the pyrometer fitted. And the pyrometer has been fitted in such a position that the probe is, can be fully inserted into the smoke box and is below the exit of the blast nozzle. Because we want to record as accurately as practicable the uh, flue gas temperatures without the exhausting steam uh, corrupting the results. So soon we will start steaming up and we'll get uh, a load on and we'll see what the results are like. Okay, so the first job is to fill the boiler. So I've got the hose connected and we shall turn on the tap and start the filling. It'll be a little while before the water shows in the glasses. And from time to time to rock the engine to and fro just to see that the water is coming up and to make sure that the gauge glass is uh, operating correctly. The blower valve's just been opened so the air in the boiler can escape as is being replaced by the water. Yes, the water is showing in the gauges, gauge glasses now. So we'll just keep filling until the level is at, right at the top of the glasses and even slightly beyond as it gives a head start for warming the engines through and checking the injectors and so on to make sure she's ready for the road. Well, maybe just very slightly. Anyway, not worry about that. We could start steaming them up together. Lighting up wood, it's been soaked in diesel for quite a while, so it's, it almost sinks in the diesel now, so it's very good for uh, starting up the fire. Put plenty in. Steadily building up that bed of burning coal. And it uh, shouldn't be too long before we uh, have some steam. I like to leave the regulator open uh, when lighting up because then when the first steam appears uh, I can start warming through the engines which is necessary to stop the piston valves from sticking as the bobbins warm up faster than the sleeves and the, and the main ca castings. But with the pyrometer fitted to the smoke box of the locomotive, a number of uh, temperature measurements were taken uh, uh, after a few rounds on the hill track. The measurements were taken at the highest point in the track where after a good run up the hill and mostly with a good passenger load, get to the top of the hill, stop and quickly get off and read the temperature. And the temperatures varied from 230 to 275 degrees Celsius. It was interesting to note 
the temperature spread, which was would be due to a number of factors such as load, uh, time of firing, and how hard the locomotive is working, and so on. But a, a fair average is probably about 260 degrees C, and this can be used for some future calculations to try and work out a boiler efficiency one day. Also, yesterday we did the uh, boiler tests on, on the engines. This required a, a, a hydraulic test to 25% over normal working pressure and then the safety valve test to make sure that they opened at the correct pressure and did not allow the pressure to rise more than 10% above the set pressure. Also the boiler feeding arrangements which on these locos are injectors only, they were tested and everything passed. So we're ready for another four years.